Welcome back to the farmstead. In case you're new here, I'm Teresa. Grandkids call me Nana. I'm glad you're here with me today. And if you're not new here, I'm glad you're here too. Today we're doing something a little special. Former First Lady Rosalind Carter recently passed away. And after she passed, her family shared a strawberry cake recipe that she made and is truly beloved to them. And so that's what we're going to make today. Now, we start with a regular cake mix. Recipe says you can use yellow or white. I had yellow, so that's what we're using. In it goes. We have a three ounce box of strawberry jello. that in. We have three quarters cup of oil. Four eggs. I can put this recipe below or um, I have seen it online in several places. There's three. And four. Right, so there's our four eggs. We need one cup, one cup of chopped nuts, and I'm using pecans. Two tablespoons of flour. And then we have, it says, it calls for 10 ounces of frozen strawberries or a pint of fresh strawberries with half a cup of sugar. This is um, about a pint of strawberries that I had in the freezer from ones that we put up last spring. They did not have sugar, so I added that sugar to them. I'm going to pour those in. And mix it up. Smells wonderful. All right. Get all the way down to the bottom. Now, the version that I saw of this said um, to cook it in a tube pan, uh, a, a greased floured tube pan. I don't have a tube pan, so we're just using a bump pan. Mixed up good. Into our pan. All right, we're going to get this in a 350 degree oven and cook it for about 45 minutes. So here we are. Our cake stuck to the pan, but I did manage to get it out mostly in one piece. And let me tell you, it tastes amazing. And we're going to add a little bit of a glaze to this. Uh, the original recipe I saw said uh, you could serve it with Cool Whip, um, but I don't have any right now. I'm going to add a splash of milk to about half a cup of powdered sugar. That's all it takes. We're going to stir this till all the lumps are gone. And then we're going to drizzle it over. All right, so there we go.
we've let the cake cool so the drizzle won't melt it'll get all down in those cracks and crevices and make it even yummier so there we go miss carter's strawberry cake so thank you miss carter for your gracious long service to our country we're going to enjoy this cake. Thanks for watching. See you next time.